just doing some housekeeping here. Oh, something spilled. Okay, let's take off these glasses. Alrighty. Yeah, I broke my hair tie, so now I have a little. That's what happens when you have scrunchies and um, you try wrapping around your hair too much, they start to wear out and break. So that's fun. Anyways, back to the main topic of this video. So study tips for reading assignments. I should know because for half of the semester so far, we just had midterms. Um, I had at least five reading assignments for the week. Sometimes uh, more than once per class. So, um... First, what you want to do is grab a writing utensil and something to write on. What I do sometimes is have a sticky note and whatever uh, utensils on my desk, usually it's this pen. Or I use scratch paper, um, which could be old drafts of an essay or just old assignments that you know is going to be thrown away later. So you might as well use up all the blank space on that paper as possible. Or, if anything, you could totally whip out a new piece of paper and that would be totally fine. Anyways, what you can do on said paper is first you're going to write down the total of pages you have to read. So for the current reading assignment that I'm doing, I have 28 pages. Okay. And then what I did next is that I looked through the um, passage and I wrote down... Um, the headings and subtitles as well as the pages of how many pages are within are under that heading before the new one starts and then if you if there is no headings or subtitles because sometimes I have that and I'm just like I don't want to sit through this and read everything at once so what I did was counted how many times I want to have a break or how many times or how many pages I would like to read in one sitting before I have a break or I go do something else because I only have a little bit of time. So I might as well get some of the assignment done instead of having the whole thing uh, still on my mind. And then, I know I'm saying that a lot, but it's okay. So we have the total number of pages on our sticky note, we have our subheadings, our headings, as well as the pages, the total number of pages under those sections. And then what are we going to do? Um, as we're reading, you could, if it helps, tally off how many pages you've completed. And then when you finish a section, um, you take the total amount of pages that are completed because sometimes a section um, can end when on the same page when a new one starts. That's fine. Don't count that last page because um, that will be in the next counting. So yeah. So subtract so that from the total no number of pages and that will be your new total of what you have less. And it's, it will just get you to finish the assignment more likely. Um, so yeah. Through this method, you are more likely to complete the assignment in sections and better understand the content than if you were to read the whole thing in one sitting and get distracted like a bunch of times. I'm current, I currently finished 10 pages, so I have 18 more pages left, which sounds much better than 28. So, um, so yeah, I hope this helps and if you do enjoy this and want to hear more study strategies when I come up with them or methods that I use for studying, please let me know. Sorry, I'm cleaning up the crumbs. <laughs> I ate a cookie earlier and now it's everywhere. Um, so yeah, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when we're going live and when videos are being uploaded. And be sure to like this video if you enjoy the content and comment down below any study questions you have or anything else you would like to see on this channel as well as any questions you have to me either relate relating to this video or not and we'll see y'all next time bye guys